Hey folks, welcome back. All right, we are gonna continue on with the reassembly of this and get the cylinder head mounted back on. So one thing that I'm gonna try to do is, um, so when you're removing this exhaust manifold, um, these nuts, are, you know, they got studs just like that one's the one that stayed in or whatever. Um, there's not a whole lot of room. I couldn't get this thing actually out of there um, without lowering the exhaust which means I'd have to undo the other side and you know but uh, one thing I did do is I removed the dipstick tube which runs right through this part right here and so I'm gonna just go ahead and mount this we got to get us a new uh, exhaust manifold I just haven't got it yet I'm just showing this or whatever but we're gonna because this has got a, this big old crack in it but um, I'm gonna mount this uh, on here and I'm gonna stick the whole works uh, down in there, but with that dipstick tube out of there, um, we got uh, tons of room to be able to do that and just set it down in place there because this uh, engine mount right in this area right here, um, that made it really difficult to get to these two bolts down here on the bottom because that engine mount's literally right here about right here so you're right you know you can't see what you're doing any of what you're doing there it's already hard enough to get anything else um so that's what i'm going to do and then just mount this uh not this exhaust manifold but the new one on here and um you know give that a try this head isn't isn't too heavy the way it is um and this isn't too bad this is hardly you know this is it's just putting it all together might be a little awkward or whatever but there are um you know some dowels there's one stuck in the back there there's another one on the front but it's on the engine block so there's that to be able to you know stick that in place and you know keep the gasket in place sort of um plus being able to once you get the head on there stay in place and everything like that and then um you know this will go Try to get that lined up right up with the uh, where it's supposed to go because um, it should just be able to just drop right in place. That's the plan anyways. Um, and that's just something I decided to do to make it easier because it, hard as it was to remove all of these, you know, because I didn't have a lot of room. This was the only stud that stayed in and it kind of felt like, you know, if I had all of the studs in there that I might not have a whole lot of room to maneuver this thing around. Um, you know without dropping that exhaust and I mean there's just not a lot of room to get it in and out of there that I thought okay this is gonna be a pain to get these these things started because you can barely get your hand and all that stuff in there that's why I decided to do what I did removing the dipstick tube because that's really the only thing that goes in between here um, which would be in your way if the dipstick tube was right there we're talking about the dipstick tube for the engine um, the transmission one is is gonna be up and out of the way it mounts to the side of the head too. I think one of them, I think these are the two places right here that the uh, both dipsticks tube mount to. I can't remember which one's which, but um, the transmission one is just gonna kind of be along here and it's out of the way plenty, but the uh, engine, oil, engine one goes right through here. So anyways, that's what we're gonna try to do and we'll keep on going. All right, so we're ready to, you know, get our head put on here um, I there's nothing that indicates uh, which uh, way this head gasket goes I mean obviously it uh, you know you got to match it up but it can look to me like it can this this particular gasket could just flip over and go on that side so I'm sure these head gaskets and and or the heads themselves are are uh, interchangeable per side there's nothing that i found in a service manual that indicated there was a left and right um cylinder head um so anyways um what i did was i transferred that dowel i just grabbed a pair of needle nose pliers and i just pulled it out of the head and went ahead and just tapped it in um place there so that uh it helps hold the gasket in place there when we're um sticking this head on there is one thing I made it easier then I just went ahead and bungeed up the uh, um, wiring harness get all that out of the way we've got our manifold uh, mounted on here so we're just gonna just go right in here and just kind of set the head down 
and um, get our new head bolt started and then we'll go through the torque sequence as per the manual so we'll just keep on going okay um, that worked out actually really nice um, it wasn't that heavy you know I uh, I know I've got this top side creeper thing that I didn't want to with the railing on this pickup I can't get it really any closer um, so basically I I stood on there with my left foot and I actually put my right foot pretty much bent on here and then I just kind of lowered this thing down in place fill, finagled it on the dowels and everything and it, it sunk right down and then I just went and looked um, our exhaust manifold is perfectly lined up all we gotta do is just bolt that that flange moves you know up and just bolt that on there now we just got to get the head bolts uh, started and then go through the torque sequence and so we'll uh, we'll do that and we'll keep going okay so we just got the head torqued go through the sequence and on how they want this so um, so tighten the 21 bolts in six stages. We'll get to that in a second about why there's 21 bolts because you, you, you know, we had 10 head bolts on this side, but um, so we had stage one, tighten the M12s to 18 foot pounds and then tighten them up to uh, 44 foot pounds. Stage number three is tighten, still on the M12s, these are the big ones. Um, go another 90 degrees, then do an additional 90 degrees in stage 4, and then stage 5 is tighten the M8 fastener uh, to 18 foot-pounds, tighten the M8 again another 45 degrees. What they're talking about <clears throat> is not on our cylinder head, we're working on the passenger side, the right side. We've got 10, but what we've got here is we've got... Um, another little bolt right here I'll show it to you on the actual head you know this is the thermostat housing or the thermostat housing bolts on there thermostat goes right in there but you got this um, eight millimeter bolt right here I don't know what the head size of it is but it's an actual eight millimeter bolt these are actual 12 millimeter bolts um, yeah so this is a torque sequence so basically what you're doing is, is you're starting you know and you're gonna go 18 foot pounds one two three all the way to ten and then you're gonna go 44 foot-pounds, one, two, th three, all the way to 10. And then you're gonna go 90 degrees. Go 90, one, two, three, all the way to 10. And then you're doing another 90 degrees. 90 degrees, not, that's the position of your, your bar. I'll show that in a second, but one, two, three, all the way to 10. And you're done with that head this one I you know it does have this you know it shows in the stages you know that you're, you don't get down here to stage five where it tells you to tighten this to 18 foot-pounds I would probably if it were me um, I don't think you'd be in trouble at all if you went ahead and um, when you were doing all of these at the 18 foot-pounds if you went ahead and did this one at the 18 foot-pounds as well you'll need a different size socket obviously just go ahead and you know do this one go 18 foot pounds one two three all the way to 10 and then go ahead and do this one after 10 and tighten it down to 18 foot pounds and then go ahead and do your 44 one two three all the way to 10 don't do nothing with that one do your 90 degrees one two three all the way to 10 do your other 90 one two three all the way to 10 and then come back here and do this one another 45 degrees which is basically it uh um i don't know it's it's <clears throat> when we're talking about 90 degrees is about a quarter turn so it's an eighth of a turn um because you're doing half of uh half of 90 degrees you know 180 we know is half of a circle so when you're that's what you're talking about is is you know you got your your socket right here on the end of my finger and you got the wrench right here when we're talking about 90 degrees we're going right here now if you went all the way here that's 180 degrees if you went clear around that's 360 so hopefully people remember their um 
geometry or whatever the hell I don't remember geometry geology yeah remember any of that so anyways that's what uh, this bolt there is is what they're talking about there so we'll just go through these you know these steps again there's that okay let's go out to the pickup okay for doing the 90 degrees on the big these big bolts I did you know had something like this they're 15 millimeter heads um, but anyways this is that other bolt right here but you can see this head doesn't have therefore that's how the 21 bolts gets comes into play on that one um so yeah i make these little marks i make i make the mark and then i do and then i torque then i turn the bolt that way if somebody you know i'm here in the shop by myself if somebody walks in the shop or something like that or whatever i kind of know where i left off or the other thing too is just being able to see it you know you can see right where a quarter turn is um and anyways that's pretty much that so you got you know basically with starting on this one i think it was on this side one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten something like that or nine and ten whatever go by the paperwork not by what i'm saying right now so anyways that's um that's all torqued on uh we already did our um uh, we already uh, put our exhaust manifold on when we uh, before we put the head on and put it all the, put the whole works in. Um, this is going to we're going we're going to talk about the timing of the engine. That's going to go in about that position. You can see there's the timing mark right here, somewhere around there. Um, it doesn't matter. We've got the crankshaft at the position we need to. We'll talk about all that and the timing. Um, video which will be in the next video we'll go through all that because we've got to get this other valve cover actually off of here and get the other rockers out because to properly time this engine you need the rockers off so that there's no pressure on any of the valves when you're trying to time it so anyways um yeah like i said we got a got the dipstick tube that uh we took out um people are wondering how i took it out i guess i can Go over that before I even started I ordered a new one I don't know where it is at the moment I just went up in here with a really long um, bit on my uh, what you call it's gonna be in about like this position and I just went ahead and you know you can do this without wrecking it depending on how bad it's in but I kind of went in here and I just <clears throat> well, let me show it Okay, so I took this thing and I got it as straight as I could and just buzzed for a second to kind of put a little bit of a notch kind of in it and then I went down and <clears throat> or angled it like this and then I just barely squeezed the trigger and just the vibration and a little bit of that pushing or whatever got this up um, but I did damage it but I knew that that was a possibility because this was really stuck in there and all it really is is just stuck on this o-ring and then a uh, quick tip for if you do buy a new one or you go to get the other one back in there you can cut some of this off see how it goes up to a bigger taper maybe right there you don't need all of this you could actually cut this off and it, you can get it to um go in and out or go in install it easier it's kind of a pain in the ass to install but it's not too bad uh, so here is the uh, part number, Ford part number for the dipstick tube. It goes in this 6.2. Um, I'm going to leave it alone and just try to get it in there. Just lubricate this uh, O-ring up really good. And um, that way you can not have any trouble, you know, getting it in there. And then, um, you know, it's best to do it all now. You know, go ahead and get it down in there now and um get your brackets for both the, the you know your engine oil dipstick tube and the transmission one on there because they're just going to be little bolts like these get them on now because it's easier to do without having the valve cover being in the way 
and you know get all the stuff you can you know down there I'm gonna go down and and uh, you know get this dipstick tube in there and then I'm gonna tighten up the uh, exhaust and then I'll come back up and, and then put the brackets on and go that way and then come back up here get uh, this valve cover off get these other rockers off of here and then by the time in the next video um, we will uh, do the timing oh and I gotta replace the water pump and I mean that's real easy that's just these four bolts right here so probably gonna get the timing cover on shouldn't lose any coolant because it lost it all when we took the head off but I'm gonna go ahead and just get this timing cover on here and everything like that and then do the water pump um, I just didn't like the kind of a gravelly sound this makes probably can't uh, hear it over my exhaust fan up there but it kind of makes a you know it's not bad but we're just gonna put it on there it's 150 dollars or whatever I think it was the cost and just it's a lot easier to do it now so anyways um, hopefully that helps you out with torque in the heads um, and just keep watching for the uh, timing video and and then um, and the rest of the deal I don't know if that'll be the last video or not we will have it showing it running and everything so but anyways, thanks for watching